Okay, what we will be doing now in this example is I will going to put out a method over here, which will be a static method down here in my program called public static void print data. And instead of me having to write so many different system.out statements, all I will going to do is in the body of this print data, I will going to pass an object of employee type. So let me call this temp opt. Okay, this object will receive a an object from the main. So when it receives an object from the main, all the values that are in that object will now be linked to the temp object. And if I say temp object dot get emp id, then it will literally going to pull out the employee id off the parameter that was passed into it. So really, I wouldn't have to write so many system.out statements right within the main. I can actually reduce all this clutter to a one line that will be simply a call to print data. I'm going to put all that clutter right in the print data. So I'll just copy this one statement and paste it out in, in here. Okay, And if I were to make any changes, I will just simply do it right in here in the print data. So for, for now, I'll say temp object get employee ID temp object get employee pay and I'm just removing this count because now this is a very generic method we'll take care of this count business in our coming tutorials but for now we'll just leave it as it is so now I will going to replace all those calls that I have made with print data reference and I'll just pass it an employee reference and you'll go to notice as I clean a lot of this clutter and my main starts getting smaller and less and less cluttered. The uh, output will exactly be the same, no difference. I will just make sure that I change the reference to 2 and to 3. Okay, so now let's rerun this program. And as I rerun this program, it says 9990. That was the initial for employee ID 1. As I said earlier, I just dropped the number out. So I can't really see whose ID is that. Then I changed it to 200. Then I am displaying for employee ID 2. And now I am doing for employee number 3. Let me enter an ID, let's say 1000. And it says, OK, the pay is 55,088. So I've, I've literally placed all of that system.out stuff into one method called print data. And I'm passing an object from the main, which is being received on the other end by this method called in, uh, print data. And as the receiving parameter temp opt receives EMP3, it copy or EMP2 or EMP1, it copies all the values over, or rather establishes a link with that object. And then whenever I call get EMP ID or get pay, Based on the object reference that it is holding, it will pull out the respective EMP ID and pay. The benefit to that is as I expand on this program, as I add more and more data, my system.out.println statement will grow, will probably look like a paragraph to you pretty soon. So I would not have to worry about making changes in all the lines where I have system.out. I can just make change in one place and that will reflect whenever print data will be called. So that is one nice way of reducing the clutter from the main. And as you have noticed, all I did was introduce print data and I called from the main. So we will be working in, on the, in the next step on improving the main a little bit more, and but we, our concentration will be only on the constructors. So that's all for now. Catch you soon.